if they told me last year, a first year TL coming to Summer Academy that I, who was going to be on stage in front of all of you, was having any type of award, I would have asked you if you're okay because you clearly bumped your head. <laughs> I've never really been the most cheerful person. Power greeting confused me. <laughs> um, and, and I was really confused why Arrow was so happy all the time at 7 o'clock in the morning. But sitting here is so just engulfed the culture itself, Jacksonville, everyone. It's just so much love, I have no choice but to get on board. Then y'all also asked me to do a speech. So these past couple of weeks, I've been kind of thinking about so what type of bridges have I built to make me the one person out of so many amazing core members to receive this award. I kept going back to that kid who grew up on 6th Street in West Palm Beach, Florida, who simply wanted to get out of his neighborhood. And once get out of his neighborhood and then go to college. Finally made it to college, then I became the kid who wanted to figure out who he was and discover who is Leotis. In that process, I almost gave up my life. Around 2021, as much as, the, as that young to figure out what to do with their life, I discovered I had a passion for working with at-risk youth. I saw myself in them. I found my peace with them. Which is kind of funny because kids can be the biggest head head headaches you can get. But no matter what, I always wanted to stand in front of them as someone that they can use as an example of what a possible success can be, despite whatever their circumstances might be. In the process of this reflection and thinking, I realized something. A lot of the kids that we serve have these really big ideas of big dreams. They want to change the world. Some of them want to be rappers, some of them want to be fashion designers, some of them want to be surgeons. But there's a gap, there's a disconnect. A lot of them don't realistically know how to make their dreams come true. Then I also realized that the only bridge that I built was a bridge to bridge a gap between dreams and reality. We all have that opportunity to bridge, bridge these gaps. Every moment where we take a time and just listen to a student, show them our hearts, be transparent, be honest, we're showing these kids a new reality. With giving these chance, these kids a new chance for hope. I love all my kids so much. One of my boys, we were having one of these moments, and he told me I was an image of success for him. While I have much to do before I hit my mark of success, where I was in that moment, as a black male, first generation college graduate, and his city year, I was enough. So despite this award, or despite what anyone else says, there's nothing really more special about me than any other person who serves with kids in here. Continue to move with love and intent. Continue to be transparent. Be honest. Continue to bridge those gaps and show these kids a reality that without us, that they wouldn't know. I must, I have a vision for my life. This vision is for that there will be no child who will feel like they're defined by their circumstances or their mistakes, but that they're defined by their intent. I must thank City Year, Jacksonville, Duval, my amazing team, and every young king and queen I met at the Leadership Academies at Eugene J. Butler Middle School who made my vision clear. Thank you.